Okay, hello, and this is going to be, uh, we're going to see how long it takes me to go crazy with this, but it's AI dungeon time. I thought I might do this, and I am going to do it. I'm going to do a, uh, this, so I love AI dungeon. Let's do custom, and let's see if we can, oh, uh, we'll leave, I'll leave everything the way I normally do it and stuff. Okay, I have a whole plan here. You are... Seasons Greetings A pony living in the an earth pony an earth pony an earth pony this is my little pony base living if you've never played AI Dungeon 2 look it up on uh, YouTube or look it up on Google it's also on Steam now you can get it yourself in the community of Maritime Bay. Yes, this is a G G5 pony story. We're, let's go. You, like many, spo light spoilers for uh, G5 My Little Pony in here, by the way, if you haven't watched any of that. So, Earth ponies have just, have recently discovered your magical potential and you have begun using your plant growing powers to grow I don't like the point set he is I don't know how to spell that can you help me out here to give to other ponies at hearth's warming you your i haven't seen the uh the the my little pony g5 christmas special so was a pony so i don't know about that so i might be using like the wrong things they might have already changed some of the canon lore so if i'm wrong just tell me and holiday cheer who was known for throwing parties for every pony in Equestria on occasions such as this. Today, it is the day before Hearth's Warming Eve, and you want to give your gifts to many of to the famous ponies to the well known ponies in maritime bay you start your day off by visiting the local sheriff station to see if hitch trail blazer is around you walk, you trot, because I'm a horse, up to the door and knock. There we go. Let's see. It is almost harsh for me. We're, we're going to, we're going to save Christmas. We're going to see how, we're going to play this for a little while. We'll see what we feel like doing with it. I'm going to play, I have a time, kind of a time limit. Come in, the sheriff calls. Hello, sheriff, it's me. Season's greetings. Hello, hello, season greetings. Uh, what? I, I hate when it leaves off like this. And I always use story mode. I don't use anything else. Uh, no, we're going to play. I'm not going to write the story. It's going to write the story itself. I'm going to add what I do. I might use do more for this, actually. When I do these myself, I use see story a lot. But I want to finish the thought here. What, what does he have to say? He responds. This is Sheriff Hitch Trailblazer. What can I do for you? You ask if Hitch was around so you can give her these gifts. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> you must be forgetful because I am Hitch Trail Blazer. So I will take the gifts for myself. And my 
friend Sparky over there. Hitch points a hoof at a horrifying creature that you assume is supposed to be a baby dragon. Surprisingly, the creature is napping in the corner of the sheriff station at the moment and won't be appearing in this story as a character. Yay, royalty-free Christmas music! Here we go. That was the word I was looking for. Non, uh, things that aren't in pub public domain, non-public domain stuff. Here we go. Let me know if it's too loud. You won't be able to do that. It's fine. Okay. Anyway, uh, you produce, you hold out a potted point setia plant and set it on Hitch's desk. Hope this will be a good gift and hope this 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 is also a gift from me to you. Hope it will brighten your office a little. Sheriff Hitch you say. Oh no, I spell. There. Yeah, public domain, I always forget that word. Let's eat my Santa. Thank you, she says, and this dragon also, he says, but now please leave me and let me get back to work. I have a big case to solve. Oh, oh, here we go, this is the hook. Oh, I am very helpful at solving cases. You tell him. I'm gonna also before I. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't know who Hitch is. So could I be of any use to your investigation? <laughs> it's a Christmas mystery, every pony. Oh no, he replies, you just do fine, you just do fine on your own. Okay, I say, you will leave to Shooting out of the station, okay. You, with that bit of disappointment over with, you decide that your next destination has to be the main melody salon, where you can Give your gifts to Princess Pip Petals and her staff. You happily trot over to the salon while pulling your wagon of point setters. I still can't pronounce, still can't spell that. What's up? Point. Poinsettias, not poinsettias. Okay. We'll see how long this goes. I'm gonna just give, try to give gifts to the new, all the new ponies, and then that's. Uh, Potty plants and ponies who seem to be doing some sort of complicated job. Hello there, you greet them. Well, it knows about ponies, but it doesn't know about... I don't know if it knows about the G5 ponies, so this is interesting. I am Seasons, greetings, and I come bearing gifts for... to make your holiday season a little brighter. I'll see if Pip is actually here. 
or if it knows any of the other people who work here. I don't remember the guy's name, but there's Jazz Hooves, who is like the girl, the, the mayor that works. So Princess Pip Petals, what do we have here? I just told you. You say confused. I am seasons. Greetings. Here, this is for you to decorate your salon. You hold out a potted poinsettia plant to Pip. Hey, Pip, I'm a z hey, I'm a Pip dog. <laughs> if you've seen my friend's uh, AI dungeons. Oh, thank you, Joyce. This is very nice. I bought you some, some for your hair, too. You tell her these are my special flower hair ties. Thank you, Pip says. So what else does Pip say? I don't like when it leaves off in a comma like that, but that's how it is. Okay. And so you may notice a little skip in the music here. It's because I had to start over and take a little break, but we're back, and I'm going to continue my story. So it's... Uh, this is very kind of you, Pip. I do appreciate the gesture. Now I suppose I should get back to work. Yes, of course, you reply. I wish you all the best. Goodbye, Pip says, waving hoof at you. I hope to see you again soon. Okay, so, seriously... I, I, I got, you know, I, I went to see Hitch, and, uh... He had a big case to solve, and Pip... Apparently had a lot of work to do too, so you uh you leave the salon feeling just a little bit disappointed that every pony seems to be busy today. Is that the tradition of giving hearthwarming presents and having parties is an old one? And not every pony might celebrate it. Yeah, so. I did watch the, I, I mentioned earlier I hadn't watched the Winter Wish Day special yet, and now I have. So, it's time to, uh, yeah, continue. I know now kind of how they celebrate the holidays and these different pony uh, things. Also, this is probably a lot louder. I turned up the sound a little bit, so I just turned that down a bit. There we go. It's a little more in the background now. But, you aren't going give up. You trot around through town giving out your coin setters to various other ponies. Then you see Sunny Star Scouts Slushy stand. Perfect. You think as you happily pull your wagon over. Hello, Sunny, you exclaim as you see the bright orange mare standing in her slushy. Let's see what happens here. I should be reading this, actually. Oh, hi, Seasons Greetings, Sunny said. What brings you here? Well, you I know you like slushies. I thought you might like something to drink neat. I brought you this. And you giggle. Realize... You 
you hoof over a snack that you bought on the way thinking about ponies like Sunny who are working hard on this day instead of celebrating the holiday. These po most ponies most ponies these days just celebrate winter wish day instead most earth ponies these days let's change that because the um, unicorns have wishy hoof and the pegasus have wishing times which is a dumb name but it's what they did then you pull one of your coin set us off your wagon and set it on the edge of her stand. This is for you too. You too. You tell her happily. It's a symbol of hearths warming. An ancient pony holiday. Yay! What will Sunny say in response? Let's see. Oh, Sunny says, thank you. I will hang it up here. Oh, and here's something for you. You say, honey, when you point to the hair ties. Oh, thank you. Apparently I have hair ties, too. I, 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 yeah, I thought I had just given, uh, Pip hair ties, but apparently I make those. So, oh, thank you, she says. So let's see what she all she will say because it left off on a comma. So she obviously has more to say. That's what we always do here. This is more of a story that a, a AI dungeon silliness. So I hope this isn't too boring to read. I will put it to good use. I guess I should head home now. You tell her it's busy. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Perhaps then he says. Well, now I'm just giving up real quick. I have a lot to do. Okay, you're probably having a nice day. She's in the room. Found her. Please like Sunny. <laughs> there are a lot. You had expected a pony like her to be more excited about ancient pony traditions like hearth swarming. But you guess you have to keep trying. There is one other place you can visit to bring the magic of the holiday to ponies. Sunny and her other friends all live in a big building on the edge of Maritime Bay that used to be the town's lighthouse. Now they have transformed it into the Crystal Bright House. You might run into Zip Storm and Izzy Moonbow if you go there. These ponies are sure to appreciate your holiday spirit. You trot the short road out of town to the Bright House and stop out side for a moment to admire it. Then you go up to the door and knock. This is probably the way I, it's probably too contrived that I'm doing it like this, but it's a nice story. I don't plan for this to be super long. 
A white unicorn pony opens the door and reaches his phone. Hello, Susan. Are you here to see Zip and Izzy? Uh, white unicorn pony? Oh. Uh, yes, you tell her. I didn't... Well, I was actually just going to bring some gifts for every pony who lives at the Crystal Bright house. And I was hoping I might get to chat with some pony about hearths warming, an ancient pony celebration of friendship. I'm sorry, I, uh, today, oh, was the day, okay, I started on the... Oh, sorry, I got a little quiet there, focusing on this. Hmm, the pony replies, well, sure they would be happy to receive gift. Zip and Izzy are very busy right now. They're working on the gardens right now. I'm used to playing this by myself and not talking. I, I had a little... Oh, I see you say your voice falling a bit. I guess... That makes sense, even though I didn't realize the Bright House had gardens, and... It's strange that a Pegasus and a unicorn would be working in them instead of an earth pony. We do have this nifty plant growing magic now, you know. But you perk up a little bit Maybe you would like to hear about hearths warming. <laughs> yeah, I like this music. It sits nice and cheery and good. And royalty free. Oh yes, the place that sounds interesting. I'm Twilight Twinkle, but you can call me Twilight. I'm Season Green, nice to meet you. You, uh, may I come in, you asked me, you had never seen the interior of the Crystal Bright House before, and you are curious. I don't know, sometimes I use the wrong tense of verb, I'm, I apologize for that. Oh, Twilight Twinkle might actually hear what you're with. Follow me. He's into the Bright House of Highlands. There's a series of hallways and series of doors. Nice to tell you. Come in. Okay, what's, where's this going? Twilight Twinkle. She's not Twilight Sparkle. She's Twilight Twinkle. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so come in. A high twilight, a voice calls from within. Come in. The twilight opens the door and you both go inside. There's two beds, a desk, a nightstand, and a bookshelf. There's a window that looks open day. You look around the room to see who spoke earlier. Because I... Oh, I didn't put do. I put... I just said... 
I should put you in there. Just click one of the doors to open and close it. Click one of the windows to look outside. Click the two beds to look inside. Click a feather, click a bottle. No, we're going to reload that. I, I wasn't going to do that much in this, but it just lost its mind there. So, let's do this first. I'm not. I'm trying to minimize my editing and minimize my everything else, but it's being really weird. The blue earth point with a friendly face on the main stand of the beds. A Pegasus mare is standing on the other bed. Hi, the blue third point says. Oh, there's a birth pony and a unicorn and a pegasus here. Huh. That's interesting. Why are they all in the Crystal Bright house? <laughs> no. No. You're not. You're not. This is the first time it's screwed up. Okay. No. That's not right. Zip is a white pegasus and Izzy is a blue unicorn. Purple blue unicorn. Okay. So we're gonna fix this. A white pegasus pony with and a short mane a unicorn mare just in on the other bed hi and a I'll, I'll even make it a purple, a blue purple, yeah. I'm just being a bit tri picky with this. Now you're really confused because Twilight Twinkle had said they were busy working in the gardens. You whirl around and face twilight. I thought you said they were busy, you ask suspiciously. What's going on here? Oh, I'm wrong, but I do that sometimes too. Hope you're all having a good day and you're enjoying Christmas, your Christmas Eve. And this is gonna come. This is gonna come out on Christmas Eve, unfortunately. It was supposed to come out on Christmas. Yes, series. Why? Oh well, Twilight Twinkle says. Izzy should be more fun than than she is. It had all the other ponies right so far. They felt like themselves at least somewhat. Let's see the chocolate coin. I've got so many chocolate coins. Huh. Oh well, I just thought I might like something. I heard some hearts I don't know be interested in learning. Interest in learning about it. What? What? You can go a little bit not really understanding what is going on here. <laughs> oh. Am I returning? You ask confused? I thought I had never been here before. And I have 
definitely never actually met you ponies, despite hearing all about your adventures. This is fun. I enjoy this. I won't. So we don't go on too much. Longer. Well, Izzy Mumbo says. Okay. What does Izzy Moonbo say? Thank you. I'm Izzy. We don't know each other, but I have been through a lot of adventures with you. It's nice to meet you. Oh, you say? You mean through my dreams? Yes, Izzy Moonbo says. <laughs> You want to know how Izzy knows your dreams? Yes! Exactly! I love Izzy. Izzy's my favorite. Zip is a pip dog. <laughs> That's what I mean. And Zip's been doing you too, Twilight Twinkle says, which is how we met. You've always points kind of a weird look. How have they been dreaming about you? You try to remember why you know all of the things you know about hearths warming and why you don't know very much about Maritime Bay. It's strange to you that you don't remember basic things. Oh, you say resignedly. All this thinking is making your head hurt. I guess. Now, you know what? This is this is silly. I was gonna try to make it so that she was like a holiday cheer and she was just born from a wish or whatever, but no. I I I'll let it if it does that itself, I guess I'm just Well, that's weird, but I guess I'm here now, so would any pony like to hear about hearths warming and ancient pony holiday. Izzy Mumbo says, tell me more! You spend as much time as these ponies will give you telling them about the traditions of hearths warming in Equestria and you discuss how it is different from the pony holidays that are celebrated today, but not too different. You then give them the presents you brought. This is very pleasant and, and Christmassy and, and strange, but. Oh, these are wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm going to put them out in the living room for everyone to enjoy. You're welcome, see? I hope they have fun. Oh, they will. Wait, what? No. Z? No. No. I was trying to type something and I hit the wrong button. Oh, hey, that worked out! Because the Z, it went into zip! Aha! 
Oh, it will, Zipstorm says. Seems to be easy to save dinner. I would love to, but I have another plan to visit. Oh, that's too bad, Z Moonbo says. I have another pony to visit? We would love to have you. I will see you all again soon. Bye, Z Moonbo says. It has been nice meeting you. Bye. Okay, we're gonna. I was gonna have dinner with them, but it, you. Head out into the crisp winter day evening to deliver more gifts, a gift to one more important pony. I'm gonna probably leave it off here unless something interesting happens. It's been fun. It's been nice and cheerful. You head out of the Crystal Bright House in the cold winter air. You aren't used to the chill, but you like walk down the long path through the barn. You assume it's a surprise and you're going to take care of them later. All in all, it has been an excellent hearthwarming eve. Eve. And you feel satisfied. Can I get it at the end, or do I have to do it myself? On your way out, you stop by the house where Jingle Bell lives. You knock on the door. Who is it? Come in, a voice says from inside. Oh! Oh, wow! No, I have to do this part! You push open the door. A little nervous to be seeing Jingle Bell after all this time. Um, you say a bit timidly, I have some gifts for you for hearth swarming if you would like them. You smile. Oh, I didn't read this. Oh, yes, I would love them. You enter the house. The living room is lit by candles and the small fires in the fireplace. Do you have a heart swing present for me, Jingle Bell asks? I'm sorry if I'm not reading this. I guess you can read it yourself, but... You smile. Glad that... Glad to see that Jingle Bell still lives here. And they still remember... Oh, yes, of course, you say happily, taking the last of the point setias off of your wagon and bringing it into the living I'll try to read these, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Oh, thank you, Jingle Bell says. You really didn't have to. I know you say, but I want to. You give your final present to Jingle Bell. Happy Hearthswarming, Jingle. You say to your old friend. Season's greetings, Jingle Bell says to you. It's been a long time since we saw each other. I know you say it's been a long time, but it's good to see you, Jingle Bell says. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad too, you say, and I don't think I'm going anywhere. Well, Jingle Bell says, I wish you luck.
Okay, I will do my best to use Hell Jingle, then before you turn to go, you have an idea. You decide you might go back to the Bright House for dinner after all, but with a guest. I was invited to dinner by some friends, you tell Jingle Bell. Would you like to come along? This needs to have a happy ending. Oh, I should have asked. I should have you ask instead of you tell. Oh well. Yes, you know, says that would be nice. Wonderful. You say I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, you know, I'm gonna. You go home and gather up some things. Then you come back and get Jingle Bell. And the two of you go to the Crystal Bright House to have dinner with Izzy, Zip, Pip, Sunny, Hitch, and all their other friends. Ha! Ha! Ah, uh, the ponies have arrived. Let's go find everybody. Okay, I'm gonna. It is a pleasant and warm evening, and you feel the magic of hearths warming around you. The end. And the moral of the story is... Our dedicated staff has put together the first blush analysis of the newly released Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks DVD. There, you heard it here first, the newly released Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks DVD. Hope you enjoyed this little pony story. My my take on G5 uh, Christmas before I watched Winter Wish Day and after I watched Winter Wish Day and the, the weird evolution of this. And happy uh, Christmas to, to everyone and hope you're all having a good day. We'll see you next time.